Hello Angel, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Bianca and I love to help aspiring models achieve their dreams. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you Angel. In today's video, we're going to be chatting all things digital slash Polaroids, what they are, why you need them and how to create a really good set of Polaroids. If that's something that you're interested in, then keep on watching this video. If you're not doing so yet, make sure that you follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I share daily tips and advice that you won't find here on YouTube. Okay, so what are Polaroids or digitals? Now, if you've been researching the modeling industry quite a lot, or you are already an established model, or you work within the modeling industry, then you should know these two terms, Polaroids and digitals. They mean exactly the same thing, so they are interchangeable, and it just depends on what your agency uses or whatever country you're in, which term that they prefer. So in South Africa, we mostly use the term Polaroids, but digitals is also acceptable. So it doesn't really matter because they mean the exact same thing. So you choose whichever one that you want to say. For the sake of this video and so that I don't have to keep saying Polaroids slash digitals, I'm going to use the term Polaroids for the rest of the video. What are Polaroids? Polaroids are natural images of you that are raw, there is no filters, they are unedited, you don't have any makeup, no professional styling, it's literally just you as you are. This is really just to showcase to a potential agency or client what you look like in your natural state. So that means if you have piercings or tattoos or prominent scars or birthmarks, freckles, literally anything that makes up you, Polaroids is the best way to showcase this. So this means no fake lashes, no heavy makeup, no makeup at all actually no dramatic nails, no intense hair styling, nothing. Just you in your natural state. It's really important to make sure that you are not using any Instagram filters or any editing apps to alter your appearance in any way. It needs to be a true reflection of what you look like in your natural state. So why are Polaroids needed? So there's two instances. The first one is as a new aspiring model, you are trying to get into the industry you need to submit Polaroids to potential agencies to sign you. And this is necessary because agencies will want to see what you look like in your most natural and authentic state. And they also want to make sure that you actually have the right look and potential to book jobs without being done up. That's why it's super important to make sure you're not wearing tons of makeup, using Instagram filters, because the agency needs to see you exactly as you are. Polaroids are also needed if you are assigned to an agency and a potential client would like to see some updated Polaroids from you specifically. So in this case, your booker will get in touch with you and let you know that a potential client would like to see updated Polaroids from you and then you'll need to either pop into the agency or if you can take them yourself at home using natural light and your camera phone, and that's absolutely fine. Polaroids are also super important for a potential agency or a potential client to see what a model's skin looks like without any makeup. So this is great to see your skin type, your skin texture, maybe you have oily skin, combination skin, maybe you have some really prominent birthmarks or freckles. And it's great because when you take Polaroids, this allows for all of that to shine through so that a new potential agency or a new potential client really knows what they are working with. When are Polaroids needed? So, as already mentioned, Polaroids are needed when you are submitting to a new agency or you are already a signed model and a potential new client would like to see some updated Polaroids. But also, if you are already a signed model, it's important to update your Polaroids every three months. And I say this because things happen, things change. Our bodies change all the time. Sometimes we gain weight, sometimes we lose weight, sometimes we gain more muscle, less muscle, sometimes we get more piercings, more tattoos, sometimes we are maybe in an accident and now we have a really big scar. It's absolutely fine. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you, so please don't be nervous around the time of taking new Polaroids. I do say that with caution though because it is a very triggering thing to take Polaroids. Sometimes it's extremely intimidating because you are so worried about yourself, you are so self-conscious, but I would really love to promote body positivity, self-love, and really self-acceptance. I would also like to change the narrative around 
Polaroids and the fact that they have to feel like this really scary thing when you go into your agency and get them redone. And of course, this is going to take quite a while because some agencies are very strict or they use certain language that can be very triggering to models when they have to come to the agency and take new Polaroids. I would definitely encourage you to have conversations with your agency if you are experiencing feelings of anxiety or overwhelm when it comes to going into the agency to take Polaroids or taking them at home and submitting them to your agency. I know that it can be really daunting. I have been modeling for 10 years and honestly, let me just say that the older you get, the better and easier it becomes. And this is because of a lot of different things. I know for myself, I've been doing so much inner work and so to be at the position where I am now, I love my body, I accept my body, my weight fluctuates every now and again and that is absolutely okay. The most important thing is to communicate with your agency so that they know if there are any changes going on in terms of your physical appearance and if that is the case, you need to then update your Polaroids. Okay, now the part that I'm sure most of you have been waiting for is how to take Polaroids. So the first thing that you are going to need is natural light. In this video today, I am using natural light. There's no artificial light whatsoever and there's also no harsh light from the sun casting any shadows on my face. So this is the ideal lighting that you want for your Polaroids because this allows for the most accurate uh, representation of what you look like. The next thing is that you can take your Polaroids using your camera phone. You do not need a professional camera setup or a photographer. No, not at all. What you do need to do is listen carefully to the next steps that I'm about to give you to ensure that you have some really good Polaroids taken from home. If you are going to use a professional camera, make sure that there are no alterations done to your skin and no post-production, so no editing, no filters, absolutely nothing, just straight raw off the camera. You want to make sure that you're preferably using a white background. If you do not have a white background, as neutral of a background as possible. When you are shooting in natural light or indoors, make sure to avoid any shadows across your body, across your face, because this will create some sort of distortion. And you also want to make sure that there is no harsh sun casting shadows over your face, so as I mentioned, the lighting that I have right now is absolutely perfect. Make sure that your images are as clear as possible and that there is no darkness at all. Okay, so let's move on to how to pose for your Polaroids. When you are submitting to an agency, it's really important to make sure that you are thoroughly reading whatever requirements they have on the website. So whatever the specific agency is asking for, those are the types of images that you need to submit. However, for purposes of this video, I'm going to share with you four basic angles that you can use for your Polaroids. The first one is to do a headshot. And in this headshot, you want to ensure that you have one where you're smiling and one where you're not smiling. Next, you want to do a profile shot, not smiling. The next one you want to do is a three quarter face shot, either looking straight into the camera or eyes away from camera. And lastly, you want to do a full body front shot, smiling as well as not smiling. Now, if you're wanting to be a fashion model or you are assigned to a fashion agency, most of them don't really want you to be extremely expressive and have a lot of smiling photos. However, if you are a commercial model, it's really good to show a range of emotions. So make sure that you are smiling in at least one of your Polaroids. All right, so now that we've covered all of that, let's move on to what to wear for your Polaroids. So the two outfits that I'd recommend is one form-fitting outfit as well as a two-piece bikini or underwear situation. Now, it's not a must to do the bikini or underwear, but I'll definitely recommend it if you're trying to get into lingerie, swimwear or fitness modeling. Preferably, you want to wear dark clothing. Dark clothing is more flattering, so I would definitely suggest for girls a very tight form-fitting vest as well as tight form-fitting jeans and you can either do a pair of black heels or black boots 
all depending on what you are comfortable with. And for guys, a form-fitting round or v-neck shirt, as well as form-fitting jeans, it's important to make sure that you stay away from any distracting patterns or big branded logos and things like that. Your outfit needs to be as simple and minimal as possible. Just a few other tips is to make sure that whoever is taking your Polaroids for you is patient. Because sometimes it takes a while to find the right lighting, to find the right poses where you look the best, and so you want to make sure that whoever is taking the images for you is patient, they care about you, and they're also going to root for you and make you feel comfortable and confident. The next thing is to remember to just have fun with it. Don't be too hard on yourselves and don't worry too much about what the potential agency or the potential client may think about these images. All you need to do is be your natural and authentic self and I promise you that will come across in your Polaroids. All right, angels, that is it from me today. I really hope that this video helped you. If it did, make sure to like this video and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe because it really does support my channel. I upload videos every single Thursday, so make sure that you click that notification bell so that you are notified every time I have a new video upload. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye!